Hello and welcome at the Embedded World 2022. We are currently at the Texas Instruments booth where they show off their new BLE chips. Um, Nick Smith here can may tell a little bit more about their new product. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they, thanks for letting me talk about the new product. We're really excited. We just announced our newest Bluetooth low energy device, the CC2340, and we really designed it to bring Bluetooth to more places than it's ever been before. Um, yes. Um, so for the audience, what makes it um, special than the other competitors you have? What's, yes. what's the, the key benefit of that product? Good question. Yeah, so, so we're, this is our fourth generation of wireless MCU. And what we focus on is taking in the customer feedback and optimizing both the feature and the price point. So for an example, the web pricing, the 1KU pricing everybody gets starts at 79 cents, uh, which is quite low. And for that, you get at that class of device industry leading output power at plus eight dBm and uh, industry's lowest standby current consumption. That sounds great. You can also see there's an evaluation board available. Yes. Yes, you can actually, so we're sampling this device now. Uh, you can go to ti.com slash cc2340, uh, sample a kit, and you can get started today. And with BLE, you are talking BLE 5.0, 5.1, 5.2, so where, where are we? We'll start with the 5.2 certification, but uh, our, our uh, radios are software configurable, and we're very active in the Bluetooth 6, so we'll keep it updated with the latest standards. And the customer gets a well-known, well-proven Cortex M0 Plus core inside of the MCU, so nothing to worry about. Yes. Industry standard. Yes, ARM Cortex M0 Plus, so very familiar development environment for, for users. Yep. And you told before there is an option to do mesh networking with uh, one SKU you have, the 512K version, and you can also go even for a more price aggressive version with less flash and Correct. BLE Focus. Yes, yes, there's two variants. There's a 512K flash variant and a 256K flash variant. Um, we kind of focus on Bluetooth low energy as the main use case, but the devices, as you said, will also support BLE mesh and 15.4 mesh networking as well. That sounds great. We have a few Evil bots on the wall. We may can walk over and have a look at that. Yes, so the, these are the development kits. Um, we, we basically have a BLE Central over here, uh, which is one of our third generation devices, and then these are the new devices acting as a peripheral. So if a, one, if a customer wants to start with the boards, he can already get those on your site? Absolutely. Um, we will have a link in the description below. Um, and software-wise, how, do do how do you support those people in, in terms of SDK and software? So we have a royalty-free SDK, and then what's also great is this, this Bluetooth stack is homegrown. From what we released the first Bluetooth wireless MCU to the market uh, over 10 years ago now, and since then we've continued to grow and evolve our Bluetooth stack. So you get all of that royalty-free examples, training, all an uh, IDE, all of that's included. So, and also I think with the Evil Boards, there's a debugger able to be attached to those or even included? Yes, so. you can see here, th this is the debugger the smaller board, and then this is the actual 2340 development kit. Yep. You talked about low power on these chips, so I'm also able to evaluate that one. Yes, yes, you can track the power. You, you can also uh, adjust the output power all the way up to plus eight dBm, so fully configurable. Um, mass production for, for mass volumes will start then soon, or how's that going? Yes, uh, mass production is targeted for first quarter of 2023. Uh, so sampling now for the next several months and then mass production at the beginning of the year. So we can expect to hit the products uh, shelf-wise and beginning next year. Yeah. And yeah. then customers already can start evaluating and yeah. developing the new BLE products with your device. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Is there something you may like to special so showcase on? So your... I, I think just the, I think what's most exciting about these is I mentioned we designed them with the balance of cost and features. Mm -hmm. So what we're thinking of is we designed them for medical applications that are life critical, that need low power, they're wearables, they need the high output power, they need the quality. But we also developed them at a price point that could scale to personal electronics or even as, as medical gets more and more into wearables and into the home, 
they need to get that lower price so they can scale their products. So we essentially released a low price device without sacrificing the quality that people expect from TI. Yep. So we can look for a future with a well-priced, aggressively priced BLE MCU that's coming to the market first quarter 2023. First, first quarter 2023. Yeah. Yep. Web pricing starting at 79 cents and samples and kits available to get started today. That sounds great. Yep. Then thanks for your time and for the information. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this show. Stay healthy and I hope you have a nice trip back. Yes, you as well. Thank you. <laughs>